Hey guys, Pase Barra here. We are now on this seventh game of this March 20, 2022 uh, game day edition. <coughs> Sorry, NBA game day edition. We got Boston Celtics with the record of 43 and 28, visiting Denver Nuggets with the record of 42 and 29. The game will be at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. So let's take a look at the uh, <coughs> standings of both teams first before we talk about them. Uh, let's start with Boston Celtics. They are at number four in the Eastern Conference. For their last 10 games, they have won eight. And approaching this game, they are on back-to-back -back wins. For Denver Nuggets, they are at number six. For their last 10 games, they have won six. Um, and approaching this game, they're coming off a loss. All right, so uh, what do we have on this game? Um, Denver Nuggets, uh, they actually have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of momentum, I got to give it to Boston Celtics since they have won eight out of their last 10. And Denver Nuggets is coming off that loss appro um, approaching this game. All right. In terms of fatigue, well, both teams are, com uh, are coming off their rest days. So let's take a look at, uh, <coughs> sorry about this, man, <coughs> but the injury list for both teams. Denver Nuggets, I can see four who won't be uh, playing tonight. So that's Zeke, MPJ, Jamal Murray, and Vladko Kanker. So four players, again, out for the Denver Nuggets. While for Boston Celtics, uh, there is just one, and that is uh, Aaron Neesmith. So I'm checking on the spread. Well, it opened with minus three for Boston Celtics, the visiting team. And as we speak, it remains the same. Boston minus three. Well, I guess this is, you know, this is quite easy for you to pick Boston Celtics because of the kind of momentum that they have. At the same time, the health that they're actually showing, man. They are having tremendous health. If you, can, uh, if you listened earlier, I just mentioned one uh, player uh, in their injury list. So, yeah, I mean, I won't blame and I, I can't, you know, I, I can't blame those who would be picking Boston Celtics on this uh, matchup. But um, I think I'm going to side with Denver Nuggets on this because we all know, number one, uh, how how good uh, Denver Nuggets is whenever they are actually at home. Um, plus, I'm actually uh, I'm actually curious as to how Boston Celtics would would handle uh, the bigs of uh, Denver Nuggets. I mean, I understand that uh, uh, they got uh, they got their own bigs, but man, uh, I'm talking about uh, the MVP uh, Jokic down here and um, De Demarcus Cousins. So whenever uh, Jokic actually sits down, they have Demarcus Cousins, and I, I really like how Demarcus Cousins have been play has been playing lately. Um, you know, he is actually scoring at ease. He is actually out there playing loose. So, yeah, um, Boston Celtics, uh, don't get me wrong. Of course, I like their bigs as well. Uh, they are athletic. Uh, they got some veteran bigs. But I think uh, in terms of talent and in terms of skills, the bigs of Denver Nuggets would have the advantage. So, um, uh, the, in terms of backcourt, of course, the Boston Celtics have it, man. They have a killer backcourt. But, again... Um, I'm, I'm siding with Denver Nuggets because of uh, their home court advantage. At the same time, uh, their advantage in terms of uh, their centers and power forwards. And I'm going to take the plus because I think that you know this won't be a blowout either way. So, yep, my pick on this one would be Denver Nuggets plus 3. Nuggets plus 3. Peace out. I say love and God bless.